Hey everybody, it's Tim Buttles with WPSalesPressPlugin.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do transparent backgrounds for your images rendered in SalesPress. Now as you probably noticed, they are PNG images, but they do have white backgrounds. In our next version update, we'd like to uh, remedy that issue for you. But for the time being, I'm going to show you a couple ways around that. Since we did advertise you don't need Photoshop, and you don't, I will show you a uh, free program that's online. There's no software to download or anything. It's just like Photoshop. And I'll also show you guys who do have Photoshop how do I do it in there as well. Um, the program is called Sumu Paint. And the link will be at the bottom of the video here. But it's sumupaint.com forward slash app. You're going to download the images to your computer that you want to render. Open. Select the image. We're going to do the guarantee image first. And let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see it. Okay. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of this uh, white edge here. So as in Photoshop, you want to uh, duplicate your background layer. Now either you can delete it or deselect it. I'm just going to deselect it and I'm going to highlight the layer that I'm going to use. Go over to your magic wand tool. Click on it and click on the place that you want to remove your white. And that's it. All you have to do now is hit delete or you can right click, cut selection, and it's gone. You'll see that that background is removed. File, save to my computer, choose PNG, give it a name and save it and you're done. I'm also going to show you while we're here in Sumo Paint how to do the uh, headline image. Okay, first we're going to open from our computer, select the headline image. Let's just make it slightly bigger. Okay, same thing, duplicate your background layer Deselect it, select your top layer, magic wand tool, click. Now everything is highlighted except for the letters and the highlights around the letters. Now you can either go ahead at this point and delete or cut and it will remove that white as I'll show you and save it. But there are little uh, spots here on the letters that do have a few whites. So what you can do is to get rid of that, let's just make it just a little bit bigger, push down on select, on shift I mean, sorry, and just click on those spots that you want to also remove. And just for the sake of time, that's all, I'm just gonna do those. Now, if for some reason you should happen let's, to select something you didn't want, like that, just do control Z, it goes back one step, push back down on shift and then you can just start selecting again okay again you can either delete or right click cut selection and it's gone file save to computer select PNG give it a name save it and you're done now in Photoshop it's basically the same thing um, it's to me, it's a little bit easier in here, obviously, but okay, we're just going to make this a little bit bigger. Okay, we're going to duplicate the background. Deselect that or remove it. And now what we're going to do is either double click on our layer. We can go down here to the effects. I'm just going to double click. Leave it right on blending. And then what you do is going to select this right here. Now, if you just Grab that with your mouse and slide it left. You'll see that the, the white is just, everything's just disappearing. See that? Okay. We just want to remove the outside border edge here. So we're just going to select it just slightly, bring it down just like that. Hit OK. And then we're going to save. Make sure that we've chosen PNG 24 from our list here. And then just save it 
to uh, our desktop or wherever it is that we've uh, where we don't want to save our image to. Now the same also with a headline. Duplicate your background. Deselect that layer. Double click on this layer. Grab this. Just start to drag it and I'll drag it fast so you can see. See? It all everything disappears there. Even your little edges to your letters. Slightly. Bring it down till you got it just about where you want it. And then hit OK. And it'll still give you a nice edge to it, as you'll see on here. You can still see that with the white background, there's still a nice edge to it. If you take too much off, that'll start to disappear. If you just do it nicely, it'll just have a nice image just like the original. Go ahead and just save it. And you're done. I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you. Thanks a lot. Take care.